What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute full body strength workout. So grab some dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your full body strength workout today. I'm so pumped that you took this time for yourself. We're gonna make sure you get the most out of this workout, starting off with a warm up and a cool down. Cater to your workout, and we've got some block work periods today. So you can think of this as kind of like an AMRAP work period with compound movements. Three movements per five minute work period. It'll all make sense once we get started, but for your dumbbells, you're gonna be using somewhere between the light medium range today with myself going from 10, 15, 20 pound dumbbells. The heavier weights you'll do for things like an overhead extension, lighter weights will be involved in bicep curls and pretty much every move will have a combo. So a leg and an arm involved, okay? So grab your water, grab your sweat towel and your glute resistance band if you have it for a lateral lift and also your bench if you need some modifications. Let's jump into your warm up. All right, big crossover in two, one, let's go. Good job. Love this style of workout. It's great for anyone, any fitness level. And I think with the combo movements, you're really gonna get into your zone here. Really tune into your core, helping you balance everything and your full body strength working synonymously upper body and lower body. Good job, heels to glutes. Opening up your quads and your hips. Three minute warm up here. We'll have five minute work periods, one minute in between each work period to let me explain what's next. 10 reps of everything all day. So you'll, all you have to remember is 10, 10, 10. Great job. Keep it nice and wide here. Let's bend and straighten one leg at a time. Great job. Go three and two and one. Come back up in the middle. Hinge forward. Now let's stretch out your glutes and hamstrings. Feel free to shift your hips left, right. Great job. Go ahead and kick your left leg back behind you. Keep the right leg up front and drop your hips down. And keep breathing as we're in this warm up. I want your body temperature to rise. I want your heart rate to get up a little bit. And let's lift and lower the hips. Most importantly, your muscles and your joints are nice and warm when we start. Good job. Three, two, and one, lift it up and switch sides. Same thing, drop it down, get a good deep stretch here. And lift and lower, let's go. Good, three and two and one. Both feet back. Walk it back to your toes and slowly roll up. Good job, let me have you jog in place. I'm gonna show you your first three exercises, okay? Exercise one, reverse lunge and, cur er, and lateral raise. So you're going back, one, back, two. You've got 10 of those. Then you're gonna go deadlift with the right leg, curl, 10 of those. Deadlift left leg, curl, 10 of those. Okay, let's go together in two, one, reverse lunge, lateral raise. 10 alternating lunges. And you're looking for 22 on the clock if you're watching. When you get done with your 10 here, right leg deadlift and curl for 10, and then left leg deadlift and curl for 10. In five minutes on the clock, you rock it at your own pace. Good 
Good job. So lots of bicep action here. And because it is a curl, I want you to challenge yourself in the deadlift department to try and go single leg. Work on your balance. Great job. You're a minute and 15 seconds in. Good job, keep breathing. You're doing awesome. And you can really make this work out your own, right? Go a little heavier, you can go a little bit lighter and lift at the bottom of your lunge. Just stay focused on full body strength. Two minutes done, you're in minute number three now. Good job, you're over halfway through this one. I'm just letting you focus, letting you feel your muscles work hard together. Good job, good job. Three minutes down. Good job, you've got 90 seconds to go. Come on. Shoulders should feel good. Legs obviously nice and warm. Come on, let's keep rocking. We're rolling into your last minute here. Good job, 60 seconds, let's go. Make sure you're hinging on the deadlift. Hips go back, you squeeze your hips forward. Thirty seconds. Good job, nine, eight, finish strong, come on. Couple more reps, couple more reps, four, three, and rest. You've got one minute to rest. Breathe, grab water, jog in place. I'm gonna use my glute resistance band for the next circuit, okay? Shoulder press and lateral leg lift. So you'll start here, one, two, up to 10. Okay, then you've got chest fly on the ground if you can, okay? And feel free to leave the band on. And if you wanna add a little bit of abs, you can go chest fly and leg opener for your core. Okay, if you're going down on the ground, if you're using a bench, won't really work, but that's an option. And then number three, skull crushers. Since you're already there, laying it down right here, okay? Shoulder press, leg raise, chest fly with the optional leg opener and skull crushers. Okay, so grab your shoulder press weight, 
10 of everything. We go in three, two, one. Let's go, press and lift the heel. 10, nine. As soon as you get done there, chest fly. Optional core involvement. Good job. So if you're laying on the floor, here's what I mean by the chest fly. You can feel free to open it up. Okay, if you're laying nice and flat. There you go, good job. You're looking for 16 on the clock if you're watching. If not, I'll keep you updated. And then 10 skull crushers or overhead extensions. Feel free to get your core involved in that one as well with maybe a tuck. If you're laying flat, that will work. First minute, 20 seconds is done. Nice job. Keep rocking. Good job, you're in the second half of this one now. Two and a half minutes to go, come on. Keep pushing. If you need to drop down, you have those weights, but try to stay heavy. See if you can go heavier as we go through these five minutes. Great work, 90 seconds to go. Good, keep pushing, come on, come on. Push through any muscle fatigue, any burn. You're doing amazing. I know this is a lot of upper body. Hopefully you're getting your core involved a little bit. Got just over 45 seconds to go. Great job, 30 seconds to go. And on the lateral leg lift, make sure you're not leaning away. Keep your core nice and strong, spine is tall. Uh, 
seven, six, two, one, and rest for 60 seconds. Great job. Whew. All right, dumbbells down, grab water. Feel free to jog in place if you would like, but breathe so we can work hard in our work periods. Next three exercises. You've got a squat with a front rack hold open at the top. So if you think of an Arnold press, you're gonna incorporate that, okay? So exercise one, you're gonna go here, boom, boom, open. That's one, okay? Two, so you're holding it nice and high. Second exercise and third exercise, lunge and row, okay? So you'll have one dumbbell, reverse or forward lunge, totally up to you. You're gonna go one lunge, bring it back, one row. Okay, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. We'll go together in seven. Start off with that squat and Arnold open. Two, one, let's go. Ten, ten, ten. Good job. And then you can just use one dumbbell for your lunge and row. Ten on each leg, and then go right back to your squat. Good job. Your first minute is done. You're looking for ten on the clock if you're watching. Good job. You're over 90 seconds in. Keep the focus here. There's a lot going on in this one, right? Stay focused. Good squat. Tall core when you open. Come on, keep rocking. You're over halfway there. You're about to cross into your last two minutes. Good job. Strong core, protect your spine with a strong core. That's it, a minute 45 to go. Nice job, are you breathing? Let me check in with you. Keep that up. I know it's easy when you're doing so much to forget your breath.
One minute to go. Come on, capitalize on this minute. Good reps, good reps here. Thirty seconds. Eight, seven, come on. Two, one. And rest. Beautiful job. You've got another minute. Whew. Big deep breath. Now we're rocking into two three minute circuits. Okay? Three minute circuits are only gonna have two exercises in them each. So you can kind of play that speed up a little bit more. First one, tricep kickbacks. Okay? You're gonna balance on one leg for five. Okay, and then bounce on the other leg for five. All right, next, lifting dumbbells overhead, either crisscross your dumbbells or just hold one if you can. 10 squat pulses, all right? So 10, nine, eight. If your overhead mobility is not there yet, you bring it right here. 10 squat pulses, okay? We go in eight seconds for three minutes. Tricep kickbacks, overhead squat pulses. Three, two, one, let's go. Five on the right, five on the left. And you're looking for six on the clock if you're watching. Good. This one's gonna move pretty fast because of the pulses. It's gonna move fast, so keep a great form in mind. Keep your elbows up on the kickbacks. Good job, quads are burning. <laughs> You're halfway through, you've got 90 seconds to go. You're looking for six on the clock if you're watching. We're at 7.30 right now. Forty-five seconds. Woo. Thirty seconds. Come on, push, push, push. Five seconds, come on, come on. Four, three, two, one. 
and rest for one minute. You've got one more three minute circuit. I want you to grab water. It's going to be full body for both of them. I'll show you how to modify if you need to. All right. We've got a shoulder tap, push up, burpee. A lot involved in that one. Okay, take it at your level. So I'll show you inclined here. Just dial back a little bit so I can show you. Tap, push up, and burpee. So just one shoulder tap, come out of that burpee. You'll have 10 total push ups. Right after that, you've got whew, just mountain climbers. 10, 9, 8, okay? And that's it. So it's a sprint to the finish. Lots of strength in the core and the upper body here. Are you ready? We go in five. And if you want to incorporate weights for this one, bring your dumbbells into your deadlift coming up from a burpee. Okay, let's go. Three minutes on the clock and we're off. Good job. If you think about this, only three minutes. Think about it that way, just three to finish. Good job, your first minute is done. Keep moving. Great job, I'm with you. 90 seconds to go. Let's go, wherever you're at. 60 seconds to the finish, and that's it. And you've got a nice long cool down, so I need you to work for this. Come on, finish the one that you're on. And don't slow down, don't stop. Don't doubt yourself. Don't say, ah, it's the ending, I'm gonna cruise out. Seven, six. One more good rep, three, two, one, and rest. And you have made it to your cool down. Amazing, amazing job. Go ahead and grab some water. Stay standing. And we're gonna ease our way out of this workout, channeling all the pride in ourselves. So, so proud of you today. All right, big deep breath. Go ahead and grab onto your toe, pull your heel to your glute. As you stand nice and tall, reach up with the opposite arm. Exhale. And switch. Beautiful work today. I hope you tapped into this workout. Whatever you brought to the table today, full energy, no energy, you showed up. And I hope that when you showed up, you tapped into that. I'm here, this is my time, I deserve this. 
And now you're here feeling so much better. Don't skip this last minute in our cool down because I want you to feel incredible for tomorrow's workout. Give me a good hinge back. Shift your weight into your heels, big push. If you can, throw your hands down onto the floor. Good, pull your heels in just a little bit towards each other and drop your hips, open up your chest. Great work, I know I pushed you in a lot of different ways, a lot of different combos today. Come on up to standing. And I hope you felt that strength in yourself. Moving from a deadlift right into a curl. Moving from a squat right into a shoulder move. Okay, I hope you felt in yourself. Wow, I can really focus controlling my core, switch arms, to know that if there are multiple things going on, I can handle them both. Okay, just like in life. There's always a lot going on, right? Focus. Focus is the name of the game for this week. That can be our intention together. Stay focused. Breathe. You're capable. You can handle anything that life throws at you. Okay, the initial onset of that challenge might be really overwhelming, but you're capable, okay? Pull your fingers back. You're capable of handling things that you never expected, that are harder than you thought they were gonna be, that come up quicker than you thought they were going to. Switch. Whatever it might be, step up to the plate and show yourself. Don't just become a victim to the situation. Show yourself what you can truly do. And that doesn't mean do it perfectly. It doesn't mean do it without failing or without flaws in your approach. It just means show yourself that you're not willing to give up. That these things are a part of life and life is working to strengthen you, not to victimize you. Your perspective on how things come into your world and how you handle them and how you will move forward dictates the outcome of your life. So how will you handle the next challenge that comes your way? All right, embrace it. Take it on. You don't have to have full faith that it will go completely flawless, but you do have to have full faith that you're gonna give it your best and you're not going to give up because you're worth that. I will see you right back here for our next workout tomorrow. Before you head out, do me a quick favor. Make sure you've given the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also turn your notifications on. I'll let you know when the next workout is up and then comment below, I will not give up. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Awesome job today, I'm so proud of you. Remember to not give up this week. If you want a little bit more work, click the video right over here and don't forget to stretch with the video right down here. Last but not least, if you haven't already, take a quick second, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It helps us out so much and I'll see you back here tomorrow.